it's summertime and you know what that means time to open the pool actually we've had a really strange late spring early summer here in oklahoma with cooler weather and lots of rain which is not so uncommon but the weather's so cool that nobody really wants to get in yet even though the pool is pretty much ready it just needs to be cleaned but before we get to that i need to trim all this grass down because this rain has made all of the growth explode so let's get that done first well that's pretty much it for the trimming normally i would go back through with the lawnmower and pick up all the clippings and make everything even but unfortunately my lawnmower is not running right now I'll be making a video about that soon. Yes, this is the new one that I bought a year ago. Not running right now, so we'll take a look at that in another video. But let's go ahead and get to step two, which is throwing in the chlorine, or at least topping off the chlorine for the pool. Normally at this point, I would backwash the filter and then start cleaning the pool. But I just backwashed it a couple of days ago, so it should be good to go. So now we'll go ahead and get the pool cleaned out. First thing I'm gonna do is use the net skimmer to get all of the big stuff off the bottom of the pool. I could spend hours cleaning the pool with this and trying to scrape everything off of it and still not get everything. So what we're gonna do now is go through with the scrub. I'm not gonna hook the vacuum to it now. We're gonna go through and scrub everything. It's gonna stir everything up in the pool and then we're gonna let the filter run for a few hours, get everything to where it's fairly clear again and what's left in the pool settled at the bottom and then we'll go through and use the vacuum attachment and try to get the rest of everything out. So even though most of the cleaning would be easier if I did it inside the pool, sometimes you just have to do it from the outside. It takes a little bit longer and don't do quite as good a job, but it'll still do a good enough job for us to open up whenever the weather allows. So now we wait a few hours while the pump does its job and circulates the water and filters the water and gets a lot of that stuff that we knocked up through the pump. Once it has all settled and everything that's going to be going through the pump goes through the pump, then we'll backwash the pump, go back through, scrub it one more time, let the pump do its job, and then of course backwash it again. So it's actually the next day and we are back to check on the pool. And as you can see, I've already got all of the hoses and everything ready to go for the vacuum. More on that in a minute. As you can see, Things are a little bit cleaner, but it's nowhere near where it needs to be. So I'm not gonna backwash right now because the pressure is actually fine. So I'm gonna throw the automatic vacuum in there. I reviewed this last year. It's actually one of my most popular pool videos. And the second video I did, the update on it, will tell you everything you need to know. This is really not worth it to get for most people but since i already have it i'm gonna hook it up toss it in there hopefully it does something cleans a little bit it doesn't really do all that well it's actually a lot better to use that scrub brush with the vacuum hose and do it that way which i will end up doing but let's go ahead and put this in and see if we can get it a little bit more cleaned up before we have to scrub and vacuum so we'll put in this pre-filter piece which actually should be in there anyway and then our adapter for this is actually for the skimmer i'm going to use the skimmer hose as the first part give me a little more length that just screws right on to that pre-filter also need to plug the other side so that we're getting max vacuum now we need to prime this hose first
do plenty of suction. Grab our vacuum head, which I've already made sure the filter is clean in it. Don't get into the water to make sure you get it primed. And again, if you've watched my reviews on this product before, it has a pulse valve in it. it. Seems to be working great. Let's drop it down and then we'll check on it in a couple hours. Seems to be doing its job. Actually, I think I need to add a weight to it. I think I'm just gonna leave it. I do have this extra hose piece with a weight I might add to it a little later. So we'll come back and check on it and clean the filter out here in about an hour or two. Okay, so it's been about an hour and the filter is definitely starting to pressurize and get clogged up. So we're gonna go ahead and backwash and then continue to let this vacuum run for a while. All right, I think that's gonna be good. You can actually see it moving again. I want you guys to look at how much big stuff is on the bottom of the pool. I've been having to take this off every few seconds so when it goes over the middle of the pool where all the big stuff is. That's not even that's not even a lot compared to what has been getting stuck in there. Honestly, this stupid pre-filter is not even needed. I've got a great filter built into the pump, so a big basket to catch all that a skimmer basket so we'll put this back on and I may later try to figure a way to maybe use the Dremel to cut that grid out but watch this all that stuff coming down big seed pods leaves lots of gunk instantly clogging it up and I can feel on the hose as it starts to impulse less. Yep, that's done, all clogged now. So do it again. It literally was like 20 seconds. All clogged up. I'm just continuing to do this until it's out of the center of the pool. As you can probably tell, I'm having to sit out here and babysit this to make sure it doesn't get clogged, make sure it doesn't get tangled up, which it has. So I am going to continue to do this. It's about to get dark, so I'll probably quit here and then pick back up in the morning. I will spare you guys from watching all that in time lapse. So the next you'll see me is me doing the final stages of scrubbing if I have to, backwashing again, and then finally getting in the pool, hopefully. Well, it's been a couple of days since I last recorded, but I have been cleaning the pool and vacuuming the pool over and over again. Like you guys saw, I have backwashed probably five, six, seven times at this point. And things are looking quite a bit better. The next step is to hook the vacuum line up to the scrub brush and try to pull the vast majority of the rest of what's left out. So let's go ahead and get to that now. So it's the next day again. Last night, I went ahead and just let the vacuum run and babysit it again. That brings it to a total of like 15 plus hours that I've let the vacuum run. And it has made a huge difference 
in terms of the clarity of the water and how much stuff is left on the bottom. So finally, we're gonna go ahead and get the scrubbing and vacuum in. The pool is scrubbed. It looks really good. It's a tad cloudy, but it's really not nearly as bad as I expected it. Went ahead and threw the skimmer on. And we're basically ready for pool season. Unfortunately, it's still a little cool, so I might be getting in here as a little montage at the end of the video, but uh, probably not gonna have any of the kids in here for a couple of weeks until the temperatures actually get up into the 90s. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Good evening. Pooling on out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Livy, peace on out. Peace.